When an IoT won't hold high voltage, it can be an internal failure. But sometimes the cause is external, such as the case of this IoT with 25,000 hours on it, and every time high voltage was applied, it triggered a crowbar. When the IoT was disassembled, the cause of the crowbars was found to be external. There was evidence of burning on the silicon boot below the grid ring, as well as pitting on the plate caused by high voltage arcing. As bad as this looks, this is mostly superficial and can be easily cleaned up. Examination of the input cavity also showed signs of burning on the silicon boot as well as pitting on the backside mounting area of the grid ring finger stock. All of the silicon boots were cleaned with alcohol. The input cavity was tested to 40,000 volts using a high potter. On the IoT, the silicon boot was cleaned with alcohol and the pitting on the plate was removed by using fine grit sandpaper. The IoT was then high potted up to 36,000 volts, where its leakage was measured at 50 microamps. The initial arcing was determined to be caused by some type of contaminant on the silicon bellows, allowing an arc path to be developed between the finger stock for the grid and the grounded plate of the tube. The equipment used to perform the tests on the tube was a high potter, a Tektronics RFM 300, a power meter, as well as a spectrum analyzer. After everything was cleaned and tested, the tube was reassembled. Here you can see the connections to the gun assembly before the input cavity is placed on top of it. And here is the complete IoT assembly, ready to be reconnected to the transmitter. After this, the tube ran normally and experienced no more high voltage problems.